think one of the things that works really well in charter schools is this willingness to try, fill in the blank, whatever it is, whether it's technology, whether it's curriculum, whether it's extracurricular programming, whether it's the seating arrangements in a classroom, paint the walls blue, paint one green, just to try something new that of course lines up with research, that lines up with best practices. Now the flip side to that is um, sometimes we want to be so innovative that there is the very real temptation to reject, dismiss, neglect, or ignore traditional things that we know work. And so sometimes in an attempt to, you know, we want to be new, we want to be on the cutting edge. Okay, but one plus one is still two. So we can't throw that away because we're innovative and creative, but what we can do is be creative about how we instruct kids. My name is Marnie McCoy. I am the CEO and Chief Advocate of the Community Charter School of Patterson. One of the most powerful components of the charter school is its charter, which is the mission that a group of people, educators, parents, community organizers, come together to say, these are principles by which we want to create a learning environment and a learning community. And so everything that happens in that school is really predicated on that charter. For example, there are some schools with heavy emphasis on leadership or on service. And so when you think about the uniqueness of a charter school, it really has the ability to hone in on some things that public schools, traditional public schools may not. One of the reasons I think we see this tremendous growth in charter schools is that the governor is very supportive of education, whether it's charter school or traditional public school, and people feel encouraged to try something new, to step out of the box. So with that, there is a need from, from many sides and a cry, let's continue to do it because there are so many here that are working well and that is in large part due to the governor's commitment to the schools in, in talking about them openly, in visiting them as he visited with us today, and even in putting financial backing to that commitment. There's no one thing that's going to make an excellent school. You can have an excellent building with the latest technology, but if you don't have the teachers there who are skillful, who love teaching, who love kids at the core of their being, it's not going to matter. If there's not strong leadership to, to guide, to inspire, to motivate, to hold teachers accountable, it's not going to matter. And so while the building is awesome and, and there's great research to support the importance of having a great learning environment, it alone doesn't get it done. Um, and so I don't want anyone to think that, okay, just put them in the charter school because it's certainly more than that. Good teaching is good teaching. Whether you're in Newark, in Patterson, in Short Hills, or in Summit, good teaching is good teaching. The bottom line is we need to educate our kids and educate them with excellence. So if we're doing something that another school, any other school, I don't care what their affiliation is, if another school can benefit from it, that means that kids will benefit from it. And at the end of the day, that's what we do. We serve and we educate kids.